with Chef Stewart. He's going to do a, a cooking segment from his book, Cook It, Spill It, Throw It. And I have three recipes in here, and they're yeah. delicious. You could have had four. Like, you almost had four, but this this is the good one. Like this is her one, like the burger. It's really good. Amy Phillips did a great job imitating all of us. She really did. Look at the she details. Is. is that your favorite red? It is. I used to wear that all the time. Is it Kelly red? Is it Ke no, uh, is it Kelly like green? It's Kelly You're green. Irish. It's your Kelly red though. Oh, you know what? I want you to also give me a recipe. Uh, I have a I bought a for for. St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. I bought a, um, a corned beef. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what do you want it for? Like a corned beef? Uh, like, yeah, I want to make it. Make it actual My dad show. usually does it. He puts yeah. like beer and like cabbage and onion. And just and boil it and so forth. And yeah. then like with the vegetables with them. Like Maybe an actual traditional like, recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you do that? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm okay. from there. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I need to pay to do it, right? <laughs> do you know how to do that? Like you're a chef? <laughs> What's today's cooking with Kelly? So today's cooking, we are making, there's a cougar burger on the loose in the OC. You have to say it. It's your tagline. It was oh, my tagline. Was. Now I went to geriatric on the, on the <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Jesus. I'm kidding. <laughs> joking, Rick. Thank you. Joking. So we're going to, he's going to make this burger for me. Yeah, so I'm just prepping some of the ingredients. This burger is really like, um, it's really like an In-N-Out burger. Like mm. we're going to make it taste just like an In-N-Out burger. Yeah. I promise. So I'm just doing a bit of prep. You like In-N-Out Burger? I do. I I like it, but I just don't. Do wanna, I don't do have wanna, the patience for it. Do you want to lay like maybe um, stuff out here like this, or do you want it in a platter, or? Um. Yeah. I mean, that's great. We can do that. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut some lettuce, and I just love to like. Oh, you. Anytime you do a burger, always like shred it. I always like shred the lettuce, <laughs> like really small. Bless you. Oh, thank you. And. Um, just do that. Oh, like a in and so out. So I just get like yeah, everything kind of just ready in the bowl. Oh wow! Do you ever, do you ever chop up jalapenos? Yeah, just like sliced. Yeah, like in there as well. Or yeah, do you, you not do that spicy. in Ireland? Are you guys? You guys don't have a Mexican player there, huh? We do. They. It's been brought in. Oh, it has. Like, I swear, it's really like um, they do it. There's more like taco places, burrito places open now and so forth. Like, but you know, Ireland it takes a few years for them to catch up. Yeah. All right, you ready to cook? I'm ready to cook. Okay, so we're making Kelly's recipe from the cookbook. Cook it, spill it, throw it. You know, you inspired this recipe. Because me and Amy went through all situations or all taglines in the housewives and like you had this like, it's one of the funniest taglines to be I, honest. I think so too. And so we did the cougar burger because it just rhymed cougar burger and then we're like, oh, we'll do like a side of cougar sauce, which is basically like a thousand islands. So we're making... Wait, what was the tagline? There's a cougar on the loose in the OC. <laughs> That is Kelly Dodd. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. But look how great Amy Phillips did. Yeah. In her she looks like me. Yeah. And she, 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 she does, does you pretty work. well. She, like, does she really does. Well. It's very funny. Yeah. She makes me sound like I'm from Minnesota. Now, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes. Very, and I'm like, I don't sound like I'm from Minnesota. Are you from there at all? No. no I'm from Arizona. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're making the burger, and you know, it's always good. Okay. To know how to make a great in burger. In here, right? it says yeah. remove the beef from the fridge and let it sit for 45 minutes. Why is that? You want to take the chill off the meat. So, you know, when meat's in the fridge or you get it from the butcher or whatever, it's really, really cold. And so when we put it on the pan, if it's super cold in the middle, it'll cook on the outside, but it'll still be raw in the middle. Uh -huh. So if it's kind of at room temperature, like just to take the chill off it, it'll cook evenly all the way through. Right. So that's the reason why, that's why we do that. Um, we're just going to, first off, we're going to make our patty so it's like, so it's beef, salt, so you pepper. So like, you like 80, 80 to 85% lean? Yes, yeah, so this is 20% fat, 80% because you get a super juicy burger. Right, like, I, I, I like that. Yeah, so is this is a pound and a half. So I'm just going to just eyeball it here. I'm going to break up four burgers. I think you need a pound and a half for four burgers. Like one pound is not, the burgers are not big enough. Um, so I'm just going to get like four chunks here. Oh. So that's that's pretty like... That's not bad, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll these in a bowl. I wash my hands, did you? Yeah. Just kidding. Well, I can do that, and then, oh yeah, it's fine. Okay. We're eating it, we're fine. <laughs> no, I wash them too. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. So we do that. And what I like to do 
is season. I'm just gonna do the little wash of that. So you don't put it like you don't put it in a bowl, like you don't salt and pepper them inside. You could, like, I mean, honestly, because you have you have the sauce with it. You're gonna have the tomato. You're gonna have the onion. You're gonna have all these things. But as long as you season it really well, okay, on each side, and then but you don't want it inside. This is how you do it. You could if you want to. Okay. It's just that we're going for it right now. I do it like this sometimes if I'm lazy. If I don't want to like go in there and start like doing that. And that's it. And then when we flip it, we'll season it again oh. on the pan, right? Okay, okay. So our burgers are good to go. I'm just gonna do a quick wash. Yeah, me quickly. too. So we're gonna make the cougar sauce. So we're gonna make your sauce. Yeah. The cougar sauce. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> so it's basically ketchup, sweet relish. I have some Dijon mustard. You can have yellow mustard as well. And um, so some mayo. Okay. I think we have a squeeze of lemon juice in there as well. Yeah. You can't just get, um, you can't just buy. Um, you can buy Pazlan if you want to, but. but this is how you make it. I've never, I've never really made real true. It's so much better when you make it. Is it? Yeah, I it is. Take. So what do we got here? So we have three tablespoons of ketchup, right? I was going to eyeball it. So like one, two, three, we'll say. Okay. Right? Is that how you do it? Yeah. Oh, that's 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 good. Good. Kind of a table. Yeah, I, I saw how I do it. Uh, two tablespoons of mayo. Is that gross mayo? Because I like the full fat, not like uh, can, best foods. I like best foods as well. <laughs> I love it. You know, yeah. you try to get healthy. I know, like how men's it is back at home. It's just, yeah, it's, I love it so much. But everybody's trying to be so healthy. Like, give me like the vegan kind of, like, no. Like, yeah. No. You know, uh, two tablespoons of sweet pickle radish right here. So like one, two, right? And then, did I put Dijon and mustard in there? Mm -hmm. Mustard? No. I don't you can Dijon. put you can put a tiny bit what in is, there. What is what does the mustard do? Just like just like a nice tanginess there, like a tiny bit of heat as well. But um, we don't. It's not in this recipe. You can add it in there if you want. Um, I've seen people do it before. But we're going to use the Dijon mustard on the burger. Oh, that's yeah. the that's how they do it at at In and Out. So we're just going to do a squeeze of lemon juice in here. Mm. All right. And now we'll just whisk that around. How do you know um, if you want more mayonnaise or? You'll see it. It could be. It should be kind of pinkish. Okay. You know what Kazan looks like. Yeah, right? of course. So you want to see it's the way it's resembling that right now? Yes, it is. That's it. Like, That's you it. You can make that any day of the week. You have. Do you have those in your fridge already? Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, right? Better. Yeah. It's there way you know. better. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So. It tastes just like the secret sauce at. No, no, no. I don't want to Yeah. Wow. So, we'll go over here and, um, so I got my buns, I got my American cheese, you gotta have your American cheese when you're in and out burger. It's yeah. just like you just have to have it, right? So I have some oil, just vegetable oil, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, not extra virgin olive oil. I have sesame oil. Sesame oil works too. <laughs> Um, I get like a funky you taste. just want, yeah, I mean, it'll be a bit more of like a nutty taste, but um, it's not bad though. If you have it, like, I'd rather you I use that. I have avocado that. oil. That works too. Just anything that has a high smoke point. Right. So, because if you do extra virgin olive oil, it, it, it has, starts smoking. Well, it, it says it has carcinogens yeah, in if it. You, if you burn it, if it you starts. Burn it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get, I'm going to just use this one. And so is the pan, I think the pan is hot. We're just you know how, I got, a, I got a trick. Want to see you how spa, you... Spa, spa some water? Yeah. There. See? There we go, it's good. So let me turn it up. You get nice Woo! There we go. Okay, so what I do is I place the burger on, right? Then using the spatula, I just like press right down. Oh, wow. Like that. It'll come off. Oh, the, I've never, yeah, because they usually flatten them out. I do it the old school way. And you can like do that, that if you want, but this ah. is really nice. And then what will happen is it'll get kind of crispy if you do it that way. I love it like it's like It's almost like called a smash burger as well. Yeah. Now here's the trick for your like, in-and-out in style. So I just do a tiny bit oh of mustard God. on top. Do you like a spoon or a knife? I do. Brush. You want a spoon or a knife? Or oh, whatever, yeah. What do we got? A spoon or a knife? Yeah, this fine. So, I'll just, just spread it out here on it. I've never done that. Yeah. And also, it cooks faster too. And see, if you were to do this method with a burger that had, like, let's say, 8% fat, like it's super lean, it's just going to be really dry. Right. So there's more fat in it, so it'll still be juicy, even though we're flattening it down and yeah. doing a thin burger. And um, 
This is going to be so much better than in and out burger. Mm, what's like, your favorite recipe in this book? Um, my favorite recipe in the book, I like the ribs recipe. I don't give a rip ribs. It's a good one from Atlanta. Yeah. Um, and everything looks so delicious in here. Yeah, and I else? like, I like. It's, you know what? It's so funny. It's like you spend two years writing a book, right? And everybody's like, what's your favorite recipe? I'm like, I can't remember any of the names because Amy Phillips wrote all the names. Right. So I had to fit the recipes, like recipes into it. Like that was easy to do because Cash like Erica Jane, remember she was like, there was yeah. a scene, she was eating the pumpkin pie and like she was like, she saw her hair was all, she was there were camping or something. Right. And I was like, okay, pat the pistachio, pat the puss, pat the I pistachio. I love that, looks good. And you can do it with jello, pistachio and stuff, it's great. And then that's, I think your good friend that's 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 meant to be Heather, Heather. And, and with the with the with the, the bow with the, with the broken bow. Remember oh yeah, 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 the, 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 yeah. I know her. Was she was friend. married to our friend um, Paul Taylor. Which is super funny. Um, that's funny. Okay, so let's see how this is going. Does Amy live here in LA? That's yes, nice. So if you see this slip here, when it's in. I see it's nice and crispy, mm -hmm. but uh -huh. it's fine. That's fine. So we just get both sides. And now I'm just going to place the cheese on top. How do you know if it's bad in the middle? This way, you I'd like say about three, three minutes, three to four minutes each side. Okay. You're solid. Because look, it's not too thick. Right. And like, you have a spicy in your cook, like you're still fine. It's still going to be like a medium to medium rare. People like the burgers like that anyway. I'm more of a medium guy. What do you like? I like a medium. Medium, yeah. With this, because there's so much fat in it, it's not going to dry out. Right, right. It's super tasty anyway, you know? Um, okay. I Let's love Let's the burger, right? Okay. Let's bring let it up. Get a, let me get a, 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 a plate. Let's get this plate. So I like to, um, I like to copy the picture. Yes. So if we leave that down, we'll see those. Cool. See, Rick hates tomatoes. I love tomatoes. So first of all, now you can do the sauce, but I don't do the sauce on the bun because it makes it really soggy. Right. So I try and like just like start off with like a good amount of lettuce, just shredded lettuce, right? Mm -hmm. Shredded lettuce is the best because when you bite into it, do you know if there's like a if like the lettuce pulls? Yeah, and yeah. It rips the whole, everything. So it's like if everything's kind of broken up, it's a lot easier. Now next is. The burger, onion, tomato, and then the top. Oh, wow, okay. But we can go, like, that to me is like kind of perfect. Because it's not, so bring it over, right here. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make all of them. We're gonna make all of them, yeah. But this is good, my hand. Okay, get a spoon. Okay. We'll do a spoon for the special sauce. Or the cougar sauce. The cougar sauce. <laughs> so funny. That looks so good. Mmm. Alright. Onion? Yeah. I just like it nice, like super thin slices. Like in the photograph there, it looks kind of thick. Yeah. Just for the photo. So I just like that. Super thin. I, like I love brioche um, bread. And then a nice thin slice of tomato. You can do more special sauce on top if you want, but, and. Look at that. that there you looks, go. Let me, let me I mean, me seriously, taste. that looks so good. Okay, I gotta taste this. Mm. Dude. Good. Isn't that good? Mm. Um, and so easy, but it's like yeah. done properly. Oh, you know I like what this. Mean? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to try it. Wow. There's a cougar on the loose. I'll take a tomato out for Rick. <laughs> There's a cougar on the loose in the kitchen. Wait, Tom, I'll see what Rick Moment of truth here, yeah. buddy. Oh, it's cooked you perfectly as well. You know. You've got to feed the crew. Mm. It's proper, right? Everybody loves it. Like, it's so okay. good. It's so oh, good. Yeah. It's simple, but like, it's done properly. Like, it's a proper burger. It's a, Oh, you love it. I think it's the 22%. It's proper. The 20% to 22% fat are like... Yeah. Fat content. How good is that? Yes. That is delicious. I think mm. it's better than In-N-Out, to be quite honest, because that's got thicker meat. Yeah. In-N-Out burger's got too thin of meat, I think. Mm. Isn't that oh, delicious? Bro. Well, thank you well, so much. Yeah. Oh, thank my you gosh. So much, I want to make more, awesome. more, um, 
from this cookbook. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say, babe, you gonna make this for me next time? I'm, yes, Chef absolutely. Chef Stewart style. He's to make it now. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, you can call me anyway. If you need some tips, you can call me, so it's fine. Oh, you guys. You guys devoured it. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. That's gonna be your lunch now. I mean, you I had know. your lunch. I need to, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna make one for Rick now. Yeah. This is Thanks, so Chef good. Stewart. Thank you Quite so anytime. much. Anytime. I can't wait for you guys to try this at home. All right. All right. There's the book. Cook it, spin it, throw it. Available everywhere, guys.